What's up YouTube? It's Machanga back with another video. So many of us are working from home and not only are we sharing our space with other household members, but we're all having to share the internet. When you're not able to stay tethered to an ethernet connection, Wi-Fi is extremely important. Some of us are working and some of us are playing games online or streaming Netflix. So the amount of traffic that can hit the Wi-Fi network all at once can increase quickly. I was experiencing a few dropouts during critical work hours since there are a lot of different devices connecting to my router. So I decided it was a good time to reevaluate my home network. If you're still using the modem and router combo or gateway from your internet provider, or if you bought your own router ages ago, it might be time to consider upgrading to Wi-Fi 6. I use a mesh network in my home since it allows me to cover all three stories with strong internet. I've been using these Linksys Velop routers since they were released. So when I found out that Linksys now offers a Wi-Fi 6 model, they were kind enough to send out the new models for me to upgrade my home office network. So let's find out if Wi-Fi 6 using the latest 802.11ax technology will make a noticeable difference. Before we look at the speeds on the new system, let me just show you the speeds I'm getting from my current setup. For reference, my office is on the second floor and my router is upstairs in the studio on the third floor. I'm going to test the connection on my Surface Duo, which is sadly stuck with Wi-Fi 5, and also test it on the HP Omen 15, which does support Wi-Fi 6. Now, this is just a non-technical speed test, but I will be timing some movie and Xbox game downloads, and I'll leave those results along with the affiliate links to the routers down below in the video description. I consider these speeds to be decent, but definitely not what I'm paying for, so I'm hoping the upgrade will give me better numbers, and we'll see in a few moments. Let's take a quick look at what you get in the box. I have the two-pack Velop AX, but you can of course just get one router and it'll cover the whole house for most people up to 3,000 square feet. You get the power adapters, you get these nice flat Cat6 ethernet cables, we get some paperwork, and of course the routers. Before we take a closer look at the router, You'll notice that the box containing the accessories is also the setup guide. Don't just toss that part out because it provides some good information to get you started. So let me grab the older version of this router because this was a shocker for me. There is a significant size difference between these. The new one is even taller than my mini editing PC, but it does pack some amazing goodies inside. So it gets a pass from me. If you own the previous Linksys Velop, you might need to think about the placement if space is a factor for you. Anyway, the overall design is quite nice and minimal. I don't typically hide my router away in a dark closet or corner, so I'm happy that it doesn't have 12 antennas sticking out from every direction. That's just not my style, so I appreciate the sleek modern design Lynx is stuck with here. I'm interested to see how my router will look next to my new Xbox Series X, but that's for another video. So back to the router hardware, there's plenty of ventilation on the top, along with the single LED that does light up in different colors depending on the status of your connection. Around the back, we have a USB 3.0 port, 4 gigabit ethernet ports, one WAN port for connecting to your modem and the power port. On the bottom, there's your reset button, WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup button for a faster setup process, and the on-off switch. This is also where you'll find your default Wi-Fi name and password information, but you definitely want to change that to something more secure once you get into the Linksys app. For those of you wondering if an upgrade to a mesh network is necessary, I will tell you it does have some key benefits. In my situation, multiple floors can pose a problem for a traditional single router setup. So using a mesh network means I can increase the overall network coverage and strength of the signal throughout my entire house. If you work in the basement, but you have kids upstairs playing games online, plus you want your friends to have a good connection in the garage, a mesh network makes it easy to accomplish that for larger homes. Two of these routers can cover 6,000 square feet and I love that. While I'm not always out in the yard streaming Hulu, it's good to know that if I want to, I can. Plus, having security cameras outside my property, I need to make sure they don't experience downtime due to a poor internet connection. Something else I like about having two routers or nodes instead of one is the access to an ethernet connection directly to the router instead of relying solely on Wi-Fi. If I'm the primary speaker in a presentation, I prefer to be hardwired at my desk and I can do that without being upstairs in the studio 
where my modem is. Okay, so the setup process is simple. You get the quick start guide in the box and it doesn't matter if you're using an Android phone or an iPhone. You can install the Linksys app from the App Store and the Play Store and it'll walk you through the entire process step by step. If you're using a single node, you simply connect to your modem just like any other router. Once you have the app installed on your device, you can set up your new Wi-Fi name and password plus several other tasks if you want. Once you're connected, you create a Linksys account to manage your network and use some of the advanced features like parental control and port forwarding. I'm not going to go into detail in this video about the many networking options that are available, but if you have specific questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments section. Now that we're all set up, I'm going to test my speeds again on the Duo and the Omen 15. These numbers are so much better and closer to what I'm paying for. So just a quick refresher on Wi-Fi 6 in general. It replaces Wi-Fi 5 and allows you to not only get greater network coverage throughout your home, but you can connect even more devices without congesting your network. With Wi-Fi 6, you should also get a bit better battery life out of your mobile devices since the new AX technology isn't as power hungry. If you're unsure about your device being Wi-Fi 6 compatible, I recommend reaching out to the manufacturer if you no longer have the box or packaging your item arrived in. You can also check your model number or serial number online. Before I wrap this video up, I'll show you in the Linksys app really quick how to connect an additional node if you decide to do so. On the main screen of the interface, click the three lines in the upper left hand corner. You'll see set up a new product. Once you click that, click add another node to whatever your network name is. Since we're adding one, we want to extend the network with the child node. It'll show you optimal placement for the nodes, plug it in, It'll look for it to wake it up, and it's pretty much smooth selling from there, hopefully. Of course, if you decide to pick up this mesh network and you have questions, I'll be happy to help if I can. Well, that's it for this one. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you feel like it, jump down in the comments section and let me know you like it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.